Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the second part of the Quarkus and Easy Rack tutorial. In this video, we will add Rack or Retrieval Augmented Generation to our application using Langchain 4 j and the Quarkus Easy Rack extension. Additionally, I will show you how to store the Rack documents processing in the Apoes database using the PG Vector extension. All these with just a few code changes. If you don't want to miss the next tutorial, please don't forget to like and subscribe and activate notifications. In the previous example, uh, we implemented a Virality score agent uh, where we supply the system message, uh, as you can see here in the screen, and also a user message. We were able to test that Quarkus was communicating with Olama and getting a response back and assigning a Virality score to a text that we provide using the chat or the Swagger UI. So in this tutorial, we're gonna be changing that a little bit and providing Quarkus with a document location where EasyRack can retrieve those documents and has the solutions that we have or the information that can Olama can provide and store that in the database so we can reuse it later without processing uh, several times. So the first thing that we have to do is uh, in our uh, POM XML for the Maven project, we have to add two dependencies in there. The first one is the Quarkus line for Lanchain for J Easy Rack um, dependency, which is the, the, the one that's going to be doing the heavy load for us. And the second one is the Quarkus line chain for the PG vector extension or dependency that is uh, the one that is going to take after processing, like Lanchain for J is processing the documents that we're going to store is going to be uh, putting that vectors in the database. In our case, in this particular case, is a PG vector for Postgres, but we can use uh, different stores like, uh, for instance, like Redis. Now, um, before the Virality score, as I showed before, it has the all the text that we want to have here. So in this particular example, example the documents that we want to have is instead of having a huge system message implemented here we're going to move that or remove that and move that to um, the documents that we have uh, in a documents folder so if you can see here we have a uh, document that contains all the text that we have in here well before so divided the score range and all the things that we have specifically put in the java code now is in a pdf that easy right can consume Love chain for Yang and Isira can consume store in Postgres and reuse that for for further answers to our questions. So, so we clean this up. We put the you are used to YouTube experts uh, your task is to access the potential variety of a given text base on a comprehensive framework. So we are not specifying the framework here because our goal is that uh, the Isira is gonna be reading the documents folder, processing that and uh, giving us the proper answer. So in order to do that, now that we add the dependencies, we had to do a few things in the application uh, properties as well to instruct um, Quarkus to, to see what is the easy drag model this guy use and also what is the store uh, where to put everything. So there are three um, required fields that we have to uh, pass to Quarkus properties. So the first one is the uh, easy drag path. So we're instructing like uh, we have a documents folder uh, where all the PDF, by the way, we can have PDF documents, uh, TXT, um, Word documents and so on. So uh, this is the enhanced by Apache Tika uh, dependency that is able to do OCR and processing all kinds of documents, including CSV, Excel files and so on. Um, one thing that is required for the PG vector extension, I have to say, I didn't dig into much detail about this particular property, but basically we have to specify what is the dimension of those vectors to be stored. So if the document is uh, very large, it's gonna be split in sentences. And uh, this is pretty much some sort of the size that um, how that document is gonna be split and stored in the PG vector and Postgres. And uh, we have to specify a data source. In this case, it's Postgres SQL data source. So um, that's it pretty much. Our chat resource um, is the same. So it's going to be using the, the, the virality score um, dependency that we provide or the agent. 
and uh, I think we're good to go. Let's give it a try. So here we can do Maven Clean Compile in Quarkus Dev. So I have Docker running my machine as suspected. Um, that Quarkus uh, automatically is going to use a dev service to spin up a PG PostgreSQL, PostgreSQL um, database with PG Vector instance in it already. So we don't have to worry about that. So let's use the chat UI for launching for you. As you can see here, we have the reduce text for that. And we're going to paste, paste on uh, text here as we did before. So uh, the particular text is the same that we used in the previous example, like uh, some text related to Quar Quarkus and Lightning Chain for game, because that's what we're doing right now. So the framework should use the information on the virality score agent PDF file um, and give us an answer. And uh, let's give it a try. All right. So um, the answer came back. And it says that virality score is seven and provide an explanation um, as before. Now we don't have hard coded the information in the virality score agent, but not only that, we can put in the documents folder as many documents that we want to process that is going to be related to the solution that we want to provide. In our case, we can put more um, documents related to, let's say, Quarkus or, or Lanchain for you. So the model, Olama model is going to use that and Lanchain for you is going to store that document processing in Postgres um, to be able to be reused before. So we don't have to reprocess in every single time that the application is um, spin up. So thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.